what's up guys it's Zed and this is episode 20 of the FIFA 22 create a club caramel mode with Zilla FC and this last episode we switched to ultimate and we drew against Chelsea now we're going to be going to the Tottenham Hotspot Stadium with ultimate and we beat them 5-0 in the last episode as well and let's see what we're going to be able to do in this episode and we also have the match against Liverpool after that I think that's where I'll stop it for this episode so just so we're not going to like uh, go very far but I'm going to sim the match against Watford and this UCL match then we'll play the Manchester City match in the next episode all right so before we go into this match I just want to say that I'm going to be resuming school on Friday and you guys realize that I didn't post this um, video yesterday because I posted the Conrad Zahn career mode like on Monday sorry sorry I posted the Conrad Zahn career mode on Monday and Tuesday that is if you guys watch those videos you will know that I am going to school and I'm going to have to be scheduling a lot of videos and what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be posting three videos per week I'm going to be posting two of that series on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'm going to be posting this one on Saturdays I'm just going to be doing this one today just so you guys will get a heads up sorry about that and uh, I'm not just going to be posting like the way I normally post the uh, 20 something minute episodes it's going to be like longer episodes because I want to be doing like a whole season per episode I, I actually have a way to do that so it won't be really long probably like a 50 something minute episode or 40 something minute depending on how many matches I play exactly in the episode so sorry about this if it's inconvenient for most of you I just um, can't upload normally when I'm in school so I'm scheduling a lot of videos as I've already told you guys earlier and this is just the best way for me to actually remain consistent so I would not like just pause on the channel for like the six or ten weeks I'm going to be away at school so I'm just going to change the uh, jerseys to our uh, home kits so that it doesn't clash with Spurs and we should be good for this match. We simply have to focus on this man. Many think he's on the verge of leaving the club, but he starts this game live on EA TV. Well, a big night ahead for players and fans alike here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur against the Blades. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. And a look at the starting 11 for Blades. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Grafenberg. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. And short it is. He takes aim. How did he manage to reach that? Ugo Lloris. And there's the delivery. Well, he didn't have too much room to work with. But a long I'm way hearing the situation has changed in the City game. Alex Scott is going to tell us more. It's a goal for Manchester City. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space. And it was a beautiful headed finish. They've scored the opener here with only... And still a chance. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And their lead stands. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. 
But now it, it will be awarded a free kick for that. Foden. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Decent position. Zaid. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Roden. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. It's the Blades' turn now. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Firing it towards goal. You'll be hard-pressed to find a better... And just receiving news of a goal at the Etihad, Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a second goal for Manchester City. They're pulled ahead by two with 60 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Can he finish this? Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Fractionally offside. Zaid. He's going forward well here. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. There it is, a fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and look how quickly he reacts. That's great awareness from him. All right, so there seems to be a problem. There is a glitch with this free kick. I have no idea why. I think this is one of the problems that FIFA has. Okay, so they finally took it, and that is actually bullshit because I was not ready for that or. If they actually scored, you actually would have been so pissed if they scored that. Anyway, that's the end of the match. I have no idea why. I, I was about to sim, like jump to sim, and just finish the match from there. But they actually played it when I was not ready. So I'm grateful that we we're able to get clean sheet and that we weren't cheated, like FIFA originally planned to do just now. But we have beaten Spurs 2-0 in their own stadium, and that is really good. Alright, so we're going to sim past the Crystal Palace match. I think that is the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup, I'm not sure, but we do win it. And we're jumping straight to the Liverpool match. Let's see what we have here. Okay, a transfer offer for Gravenberg was withdrawn. I have, I really don't care about all this stuff. So nothing really uh, happened. I, w I wasn't going to sell Gravenberg either way, so. We are still undefeated in the Premier League. Liverpool is on our tail. We're going to be facing them now. If we do win them, we're going to be... I think 13, 14 points ahead of them. Yeah, we'll be on 62 and we'll be on 48. So we're going to be 13 points ahead of them if we do win this match. Manchester City might even have a chance to get ahead of them. But then it's ultimate. I really don't know uh, how tough the match is going to be because the Spurs match was really tough. I was actually happy that it was that tough because I'm pretty sure if it was legendary, we would have beaten them 5-0 again in that match. All right, here is the lineup I'm going for. Foden is on the left this time. Suho is going to be staying on the bench. Foden actually, has actually gone up to a 90. That is cool. Gravenberch is really close to a 90 as well. Torvaldson, Davies, uh, Arahal and Opamikano are still on 86. I think we're good. I mean, the team is not uh, all that great yet. I mean, it's, it's a really good team because I feel like we're actually the best team in the Premier League right now. But I I want more to be honest. Our midfield is good, our uh attacking is good, but it's just our defense that needs some work. Bakari, Araha and Upamikano are still eighty six and I'm expecting them to go higher later in the series. It might be early significant when it's first against second, a game that could have a big say in who eventually wins the title. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. 
And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's the Blades taking on Liverpool. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goalscorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And a look at the starting 11 for Blades. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. Just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. The, race. the answer, the goalkeeper. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And fired against the crossbar. Most of one of these chances. Mane. High quality defending. Robertson. Now showing excellent vision. Just needs to stay calm. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets on... Nice-looking pass. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. Grafenberg. He's found a pocket of space. Gives it a go. Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. You know. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. And he's through. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Really getting stuck in. On and on he goes. Real chance. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Well, can they be creative from here? Mane. Firmino. Marino. Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. 
just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And then what a strike. To win it back high up the pitch. Firmino. What a save. Robertson. Here's Valverde. Fabinho. No way through. Mane. Strong play here. And Mohamed Salah now. And he smacks it against the crossbar. Well, I thought that was it. Well, racing past his man. Sadio Mane's cross. Well, the clearance half hearted. Zaid. An advantage with them. Referee says play on. Useful looking ball. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Attack here. Oh, a vital interception. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Happy to take on the shot. Well, it was a superb counter attack. It's but no Liverpool good. facing West Ham United. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Now, can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Oh, it might be. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, having been awarded the corner. Coming off the pitch. Alright, right, so that is the end of this match. We were able to beat Liverpool 3-2. It was a really, really tough match because they kept on equalizing. But we're, they both were finally able to get that goal and we just had to defend for our lives. And we were able to come up with the win. All right, so next up is the match against Watford. I'm not going to be playing this, but we are away from home and I'm really hoping that we are able to get this win. Come on, guys. Mason Greenwood, I just thought Mason Greenwood was on a... On an 87 now, so they both scored two, and like he's back in form for some reason. Because I, I remember at the beginning of this series, he was always always scoring, and I, I think now he's back. So this match against Fenerbahce, Champions League match, and I really do not think that they're going to give us any trouble. If they win it, we're going to have to play the second leg. But we do Green Greenwood scores and Suho scores as well. I guess like if we're going to be at home against Fenerbahce, then there, is, there isn't really going to be any problem. Next up is the match against Manchester City. And I think I might want to sim this one. Like the interactive sim and if anything happens, I will just jump into the match. So let's see what Manchester City are going to be able to pull off against us. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here and Manchester City get the ball rolling. And he takes it away. Oh, okay, that was a very disgusting goal from Bernardo Silva all the way from there. And he was able to fire that pass to Valkyrie. What the hell? How the hell does that even happen, to be honest? Like, wh like what the actual fuck was that? Gabriel Jesus has eyes for goal. All right, so that was another good save from Torvaldsen. That's the second of this match. And this is actually becoming pretty annoying because we're not supposed to be losing this match. I mean, I know it's uh, Manchester City, but still, that goal was just not what I was expecting at all. We just need to be able to fire this pass to keeper, for God's sake. And Ederson actually saves it. That was actually a really good save from him. Okay, we're still with the ball, and oh my God, Zai just missed that. Oh, big opportunity! And the oh, referee... Alright, so I'm guessing that this would be a penalty. Hopefully not, because they are actually... Okay, yeah, it's a penalty, and... <sighs> yeah, of course they score it. Of, of course they freaking score the penalty. Run at them, but quick thinking defensively. 
All right, so that is the half time. I'm going to be jumping in to play the second half. And come on, like, I, like, okay, let's just try our best to do the best that we can in this match and at, at least draw what and at least draw the match that was not my intention at all i can't I like i wanted to pass the back already but it went all the way wild to the day made a brave decision effective challenge oh a lovely ball can they cover up but the move will just bring out oh, the a big chance here and never in any doubt from the keeper Oh, great vision. And he takes it on. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. stoppages we will have two extra minutes and he dealt with that ball played in rather well and threading it forward and a goal to level the top late on here just look at the reaction Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And with that, the referee brings this... So all I've got to say is that a man's got to do what a man's got to do. We went 2-0 down in the first half, and I really want to keep this undefeated streak going. And we just had to jump into the match, even though I said that I didn't want to play this match. But we played it and we won. Sorry, rather we drew the match. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. That will be on Saturday and it's going to be the rest of this season. And then the next Saturday is going to be the whole of the next season. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.